Hey everyone, this is Danish and I'm making another vlog about our next lecture and the video is going to be right after this video so make sure you watch this video about our switching and routing. We are going to actually start with routers. How to you know, configure router, initial configuration for router. <clears throat> Remember this is not a CCNA lecture. We're not gonna teach you from scratch, like, you know, what is networking and all that. I hope this is not that, because it's helped us transition to system administration. So we know you know this, at least this stuff. So what we are gonna do is we are going to show you exactly real stuff, okay? Because we think that you're sitting in an office or even if you are trying to, to become a system administrator, we are, we are assuming imaginary or virtually we're saying that you are sitting in an office and now it's time for you to know about routers well you know the technology and you know we're saying that maybe you went to Google and you find out everything about router you went through all the slides all the PowerPoints and maybe you saw some YouTube videos so this is a moment where you need to know it how it is set up in real world so right in this video I'm going to show you how routers looks like it physically where it, where it's like set up so it might not be the same every company of course it's not going to be the same but it's going to give you an idea and in our course video we are going to pick a router physically we are going to pick it we're going to touch it I love touching things because when you touch it you feel it and then you know this is router <laughs> so, so I mean we're not gonna use any um, we are going to use like you know virtual like softwares to do virtual kind of routing and stuff like that later on I'm not even talking about that right? I don't want to confuse you. so we're going to pick a router we're going to pick it up and we're going to plug the wires the console we are going to connect it first time and configure the router configuration meaning like you're gonna name it things like that now remember it's not a networking course so we're not making you a network engineer over here okay we are saying that you are a helpless person you don't know anything about router you know things about router but you don't know anything about routers how it process and things like that so we're preparing you to become a system administrator at least you have that intermediate knowledge for routing so then when a network engineer call you and say hey can you log into router this router and can you just tell me can you do me this one command maybe he will even tell you about the command so can you even at least do that to follow directions to just log into the router and use his commands so that's kind of like communication going on between you and a network engineer because he knows you're a helpless person you're just transitioning to the system or using new system administrators he knows this stuff so he knows he, you're not gonna know these commands but at least he he will not tell you that how to plug a router and to get into a router use some type of software to get into the router and things like that that's what we're going to focus because we're transitioning and once we transition we will do a lot of labs not at the network engineer level but at least at the level where you can do basic troubleshooting or at least you can create a log for for a network engineer or at least there's a vendor that supports you with Cisco stuff and they say can you send me that log can you send me the full log the tech log or whatever log can you send me that log and then how do you gather all the information from the router and send it to them that's the reality over here now of course some places system administrator might be working on router like network engineer we're not doing that right now we're just transitioning so you're gonna be ready at the end we'll basically show you where else there's so many other courses that you can take and become a full network engineer that's not our focus again that's not our focus so next video is we are going to start with the router we'll pick it up we'll plug it in we'll rename it we'll use some commands you'll we'll learn it we'll learn about the process and then we will learn a little bit more how to get the errors out and stuff like that how to talk with the network engineer and how what kind of things they will be expecting from us and how can we help them out without me not knowing anything or I know a little bit so I can make my life easy and make this transition much easier so that's what we're gonna do in our next video but after this video 
in this video right now watch the reality watch how they are set up in the server room oh i was gonna pick my phone <laughs> but check the uh check the video right after this okay thank you you see there's a router right here this is the front of the router now i want to make sure that it's kind of secure right here so you see that there's a front there's a power right here and i'm going to show you the back of this router so then you guys have an idea that how things are set up this is a big server room right here all the stuff is in there over there there's a router right there and it's giving all the routing stuff and you might have more routers one main router and then there's small routers connected to do more routing for the networking here you can see another one Cisco 4321 and then it has connection going on and it's 20 Mbps right there so we will discuss all these links and everything in detail and that's the back of that main router as you guys can see this connection going on right there um, like I said we will discuss this in detail how everything is set up and then all the wirings are done and what happened is that you will have like switches connected through that router so then it's giving its routing all information right here all the different different type of you know subnets and all that every every PC is connected to each port right now and they could be on different VLANs printers different stuff so that's what we are going to discuss I wanted to show you that in reality how it's set up and now we're gonna jump in for you to start working on this stuff now this is pretty mess don't look at this stuff don't get confused this is mess we gotta fix this hey guys before I finish this video I want to share something really cool with you if you are a brand new person and you don't know anything about routers but you're a little confused and you don't want to get the router and download anything you can actually test everything from your phone how basically go and get packet tracer mobile from Cisco and log in as a guest account so guest account you don't need any uh, registration just click on login and you will see this screen on your phone I'm on my phone right now then you click on that little white space there you go now you can play with a lot of powerful stuff just from your phone I mean you can almost learn a lot of things so since we're transitioning from help desk and you just want to know the basic stuff you can actually do everything from here so we still have to do all the labs hands-on from the router because we want to learn it the right way but you can get everything from here too look at this we can get basically router and let's say you want to learn about router you clicked on router you got so many router options right there and if you want to pick one router let's say we're going to pick 2911 2911 so that's the router basically you can get into that router right now how you just click on it and you click on that CLI right there and bam you're inside the router that isn't it that awesome so this is the basic configuration for any router when you get the router you turn it on for the first time you you go to the console right now it's basically asking me continue to configuration on that on the right side I click yes I'm going to say okay click enter and I'm gonna click yes and now it's telling me enter host name that's how you configure the first time the router basically we are doing the initial configuration right now we will do another lab full lab on the rail router so if you basically click on the little keyboard and I'm gonna say job skill oops it's a little hard on the phone though skill share and we're going to say enter so we're gonna give it a secret I'm gonna give it a very easy secret DAN that's my secret Dan and we're going to say enable to enable the password is used when you specify an enable secret we're just gonna click another one DA into virtual terminal password we're gonna click another I'm just doing this just to kind of for fun you know just to show you configure SNP network we'll say yes community string we'll just say enter and there you go we are inside the router guys we got few things going on this is how everything starts isn't it awesome if you have something like this on your phone and you can start learning about things I mean you can start 
whatever you want to give right now all the commands you can try all that stuff in here okay let's say you want to try switch now what you need to do is to go back and click on that little I sign on the on the top the topology sign and what we need to do is to click on the white screen again and there is switches and you have multiple switches right there let's pick the switch is 2960 so you click on that again and we're gonna CLI and BAM I'm inside the switch it's loading right now with the nice switch right there I mean everything is just awesome for you guys guys like you guys can learn almost a lot of things from this click enter and you're inside the switch and if I say enable look at look look on the right side you got all the commands in there you can start learning about these commands like I can do show I can do terminal I can do trace route I can do enable so if I do enable there you go and if I click enter and I'm in privilege mode right there so that is so awesome because now when I did the enable look what happened on the right I got more options now I can do configure click enter and you can do more and more stuff in there what do you want to configure so this was just a kind of show you guys how cool this is like you can actually play around on your phone to start learning about commands the initial configuration that you will do on the real router now that is pretty powerful if you have this and you want to learn a little bit about Cisco uh, even on your phone you don't have to spend one dollar and you can do this right from your phone and the coolest thing about this is you can connect other devices with this so let's say for example if I want to connect uh, a PC in here let's say there's a wireless PC uh, and then there's PC right there so if I have a clip PC right there and if I click on PC watch what happens I can actually go to the PCs also so there's a desktop there's an auto connect connect if I do desktop in there this is what I get so now I can change the IP address of that PC or I can go to the command prompt right there and I can do IP config look at that isn't it that awesome I mean to me it is awesome I don't know about you guys but and then enter look at that if I have a router configured now and I have a switch configure if I have all the IP addresses going on subnetting going on I can connect this PC with it to check that everything of course you will do that on in the lab but I will actually try this over here too just look some videos on YouTube configure a basic router configure a basic switch and then connect a PC with it see if you can make that happen that will be some awesome stuff share that with us thank you for watching this I know you guys will love this and we are ready.